What's up guys, it's Halo Riders, back for some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we took on the 7th Gym Leader, the Fire Type user Blaine, and in today's episode, we are going to be catching the second Legendary Bird Pokemon, Zapdos. But to get to Zapdos, we need to go through the Power Plant. Now, for those of you who didn't watch the last episode, the Power Plant, if I can get out the town map, which is over here, here we are, the power plant is down below Rock Tunnel. What you do is you go over to the water area of Rock Tunnel when you have Surf and swim all the way down from over here, down to here, and down to the power plant down here. It shouldn't be too tough to find, but I'm just explaining it for those of you who didn't watch the last episode. But if you didn't watch the last episode, what are you doing watching this episode? I don't know. But, uh, let's go in then, shall we? Now, I didn't do any battling of the trains we missed last time. I'll be doing that in between this episode and the next one. But while we're here... I had to get distracted, didn't I? Oh, actually, this is this is a good point. There are uh, three new Pokémon you can catch here. I may as well jump straight to. Now, this is the first of one of those three. Magneton, which is the evolution of Magnemite, which is also one of the other Pokémon you can catch here. But I'll go into explaining to them in a second. Let me just... Carter leveled up! Yay! Carter's reaching his levels. Carter's not a bad Pokémon at all, is he? Okay, so give me a second, and I'll go fetch up the information about these Pokémon for you. Okay, so here we are. We have five Pokémon you can catch in this area in Fire Red and four in Leaf Green. Why five in Fire Red? Because there is one Pokémon specific to Fire Red that you can catch here. The other is only accessible in Leaf Green, but not in this location. The location we are going to find later on. Now, the four Pokémon that you can catch here in both games, two of them I've already talked about, which are Pikachu and Voltorb. Voltorb appears 30% of the time and Pikachu 25% of the time. So if you didn't get Pikachu earlier on, you're going to have a much easier time getting it here. But there is a better... There is a better electric type here for Fire Red, which I definitely recommend you get over Pikachu. So if you're in fire, playing Fire Red and you haven't gotten yet Pikachu before this point, don't worry about getting Pikachu here. Get one of the other electric types because they'll be better. But um, besides that, let's talk about the other two Pokémon here that we haven't talked about yet: Magnemite and Magneton. The two evolu the evolution of Magnemite. Now uh, these are the two Pokémon you can get in both games, and they're both electric and steel type. But in the original game, they were just electric because steel didn't come along till Generation Two, and this game is set. This game was made during Generation Three, so they had to add the steel type to Magneton, of course. But um, what do I think of Magneton? It's a uh, very good, all, like all steel types. It's very good defensively, but of course. Like stat-wise, otherwise, otherwise than that, it's not a very fast electric type. It still has pretty good um, special attack, but not very good physical attack or special defense. It's very good defensively, though. It's like a, it's like all steel types. Like I said, it's very good defensively. So I recommend it being used well for defense, but not really in an attack sort of way. Maybe give it like protect or something. And the same for Magneton. Magneton, of course, is better. And don't don't just give it all defense stuff. Don't don't go thinking that Magneton's useless because it's all defense. It do, it is a good special attacker as well. It's just its highest stat is pretty much defense. It doesn't have very good speed like most electric types do. So therefore, it's not going to be as useful as some electric types. But it's still good defensively, and it's still got a good special attack. So therefore, it's good. Now that I've talked about that five times, saying the same thing over and over again. We're going to talk about the one Pokemon you can only get here in Fire Red. Now that is Electabuzz, which is by far the best electric type in this, in this game that is non-legendary. Electabuzz is better than Pikachu, better than Magnemite, better than Voltorb, better than all the other electric types in the game, maybe par Jolteon, but uh, Jolteon is probably a lot more based around speed than it is special attack. Ma Electabuzz is kind of a mixture. It's good at uh, special attack, it's got good speed, it's probably got some okay physical attack as well from what I know. I'm not too sure about the defenses, but it also learns some pretty good moves, and especially when it comes to the fourth generation during the move split, it learns some even better moves, like things like Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, they all come in a lot more useful. So definitely Electabuzz is one for you, I think. I certainly would have caught it if I didn't catch uh, Electra first, but I decided, uh, seeing as how it's supposed to be a game set during the first region, may as well go for the famous Pokémon! Okay, now that we're done talking about them, let's get on with the journey! What is this? It's a Max Potion! That'll come in useful! Now that's the wrong button, let's get out some... That's not helpful. Let's get out some Max Repels! If we have any left, we've got enough left, that'll do. I'm going to have to fill back up with Max Repels at some point, I think. Okay, so what's going on around here? 
this probably won't be very long here if we can get to Zapdos quick, but I'm not... don't think there's any puzzles around here, but there might be there's a Pokemon here. Ah, uh, okay, that was a Pokemon. Uh, what was it? It was... oh, hello. Uh, there was an Electrode here as well. I didn't know Electrodes were here. It didn't, doesn't say that there's any Electrodes here, but I guess... I guess... I don't know. <laughs> my question, my just question for Electrode is how... In the Pokédex, it says that both Voltorb and Electrode are easily mistaken for Pokéballs, but Voltorb is one foot tall. One foot? It's one foot tall, right? Voltorb is one foot tall. That's one sixth of the average human height. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's one sixth of the average human height, right? Fully grown human height. How could you mistake that for a Pokéball? That's too big! And then Electrode is three foot tall. That's even bigger! How were you meant to mistake that for a Pokemon? I mean, how you, how do you mistake that for a Pokeball? Plus, the colours are the other way around. It's like a switched over Voltorb if it had a face on its ass. And grew two times every time it was flipped over. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting off track, but... Still, that never made sense, but then again, Nintendo logic, guys. It's meant for kids, and it's played by adults. <laughs> yeah, it's... GET THE POKEBALL! It's going to be another Electrode, almost certainly. Yep, it was, but oh well. It makes the missions funner! I'm getting on track. Let's brick break it! It's Sonic Booming! I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And Critical Hit! I am doing well today with these battle things! Yeah. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was the weirdest expression I've ever done. Oh crap, Repel's worn off. Well, I'm just gonna have to get to this without... Thunderstone! Yay! No. Okay. Uh, Max Repel. So, this will probably get me like a lot quicker than the Articuno one, at least to get to the Pokémon, I imagine, because I'm pretty sure the Zapdos doesn't really have anything blocking its way, so it should be... There it is! Hey, Zapdos! Just stay there! Now, um, let's think about my tactics here. I could use Electro to get a Thunder Wave. The problem with that is, though, that Electro is an Electric type, and Zapdos is an Electric type. Electric types are resistant to their own types, so I don't think... I can para pa paralyze it with that move because that's an electric type move. If it was stun spore, there might be a possibility because that's a grass type move. But I don't, I don't think I can use an electric type. So um, gonna try Zool. Let's let's see if Zool can do anything. You know, I've had people say that um, Hypno isn't a very good Pokemon because it's mainly aimed at special defense. But I feel sometimes that it's a good idea to have Pokemon that aren't aimed at being like incredibly powerful physically but are just good at taking hits so like you can like they whittle down the other people's Pokemon over time rather than just do it instantly but lose a lot of health in the process but uh, on with that let's take on Zapdos now I just want to make sure I have enough Pokeballs because I forgot I nearly forgot that um, oh, oh that, that's not many at all but that that will have to do I guess um, here, Zapdos, Zapdos, Zapdos! Here we go! Yow! Did he sell the spike? It's Zapdos! The electric flying Pokemon of the electric types! Now... We're going to hypnotize it! It detected, of course. I should have gone with Meditate. I was tempted to go with Meditate, but I, th I forgot it had that. You know what? We're going to go with Meditate again in case it's got agility. Okay, that's not good. Um, so just, so just to make sure he's got enough uh, enough attack on him to do a relatively good amount of damage in case. Let's try Hypnosis again. Okay, Drill Peck. Uh, that's a... Oh god, that did a lot. No, Zool, you missed! How could you miss? It detected. There's no consoling this guy. Okay, come on. You you got away with doing that twice. You gotta run out of detect, and I'm gonna run out of hypnosis. It's 
Might as well. Well, this is going great. This is great start. Okay. Yeah, lose the next Pokemon. Let's go with Whitley, because Whitley's got another Grass-type move that'll put him to sleep. Plus, uh, Grass is really... Stun Spore. Let's try Stun Spore. So Stop using Detect! You cannot keep using Detect! Okay, let's try it again. How many Detects does this thing have? You cannot do this! I don't know what I'm doing right now. Fuck you, Zapdos. I say this on behalf of all Pokemon Let's Players. Fuck you. Okay, so now he's paralyzed. That's a start. But we're paralyzed too. Oh boy! Oh crap! Forgot he had that move. Bye, Whitley. <sighs> I've just realized he doesn't have an electric type move. So we can send out... We can send out Lamar, and Lamar will be safe because he doesn't have an electric damaging move. He just has Detect, Agility, Drill Peck, and Thunder Wave. All he can do is Thunder Wave, and he must be running out of Detect by now. So, let's give this a try. We're going to try uh, Surfing him, because Water Tight is not super effective against Electric, so it shouldn't do that much. Yeah, that's enough. It's got Agility, but that won't help it while it's paralyzed, and the paralyzers... Yeah! Coming up with little plans, guys. Little plans, you know. Little plans. We're gonna bite it, and it's drill pecking us. It's gone first, even though it's paralysed. That's weird. Uh, I don't know what this voice is. It's. Uh, I really hope we don't KO it because that's not good. It's not good at all. Ah, uh, uh, that's um, that's not good. That's that's not good at all. So as you probably saw, my tactic last time didn't exactly work. So this time I'm going to try going in with Meditate and hope that if it is going to use Detect, it's going to use it on the first turn. So that on the second turn it has a less hard chance of... Wow, I, I totally didn't listen to myself and that was actually a good thing. Yes! This is getting somewhere! This is good! Zool has survived more than one round! Good! Psychic! Okay. That appeared to have got away from me there, but let's continue with this. That did almost nothing. Um, let's try headbutting it, see what happens. But Zool, you're doing a good job. You've actually done damage to it. This, that's even worse. Psychic again. Okay, let's whittle down its health because it doesn't have rest, which is brilliant. This isn't Snorlax reborn. Because if it had rest... I would have killed myself way before this battle it used Detect, of course. Surprise, guys! Um, uh, it's using Agility. Cry me. Oh, well. I am so glad now, after saying last episode that Agility should increase evasiveness, that it doesn't increase evasiveness, because if it did, this would have been a worse battle for me. Bye, Zool. I hope to see you in the next life. Uh, use next Pokémon, yes. Oh, let's give Electro a try, just just to see what happens. I just... I don't want to KO this thing! This will be... This will be, like, the ultimate fuck you if I manage to KO it again. Electric Thunder Wave... Oh! Oh, okay, so Thunder Wave does affect Electric types. So I was worried that it wouldn't have an effect, because I think I remember it sometimes not having an effect. But... No, it's more of one of those weaker Pokemon that's not a chance. Let's just go straight for the Ultra Ball. ROLL THE BALL! Wow. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Oh, crap. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days. Okay, ROLL THE BALL! Wow, you, you aren't... you aren't fussed, are you? you? You don't care. You really don't care. You're like, oh, What's this? A tiny Pokeball? Blah! Better away! Ay, ay, caramba! Ay, mio tío! Wow, you don't give crap! It's paralyzed and it can't move, yet it's able to escape from an Ultra Ball, which is like the second best Pokeball bar the Master Ball, and I'm not wasting the Master Ball on you. Cripes, this is not going well. Why use. I'm not gonna question these Pokemon, because they. 
They have little minds of their own. It's called the AI, and the AI is stupido. Hello. You had me there, Zaptos. You you had me going for it. I was going to be like, what the fuck? Okay, we're going to go with another Great Ball, because it's, I've got more Great Balls than Ultra Balls, and actually the Great Balls seemed to have more of an effect last time. But at least it got one. None of the Ultra Balls have got one yet, so that's something. Clearly it's having more of an effect. Now, uh... Funny they create a Pokeball which is actually more likely to catch a Legendary that isn't a Master Ball, because I would pay that guy £10 million just to create one ball for me, because it would just be so much more helpful. Okay, but never mind that. song that I uh, nervously sung during my uh, Slenderman episode about a year ago or so now? Well, uh, I don't want to set the world on fire is going to be the opposite of what I want to do. If you don't get in these goddamn balls! Let this be the last time I have to battle this thing. I'm done. I am done. I'm, 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 I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. If this one doesn't catch it, which it didn't, I am doing it. Okay, I do not care anymore. I don't care how many other Pokemon there are to catch in this game. I don't care what level this thing's at, or what other legendary birds are left, or what other legendaries full stop are left. I'm going to throw the Master Ball. Because I'm fed up. If it breaks out of this fucking thing. HA! How do you like it, bitch? You stuck forever! You are not getting out! You suck my I'm sorry about that. I just really 
really couldn't stand that thing anymore. I don't care if I've just wasted my... I don't care if I've just wasted the Master Ball. I am so glad that thing is gone now. So glad! <sighs> let's just... let's just end this, shall we? The electric Pokemon, very well named. What should we call him? Uh, okay, I've got a good one. That's the perfect name for it. Pain in ass! Exclamation mark. Pain and ass was transferred to Bill's PC. It was placed in box one. Yeah, that's about right. Thank God we can finally leave this place. I'm losing my voice. That's that's why I that's why I don't sound very healthy right now. But uh I am so sorry, guys, that that was so so tedious. Twice! Three times we had to take on that fucking thing. Now let's go back to Cinnabar Island and heal up our Pokemon. I am done for today. I am I am so done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna heal our Pokemon and then we're gonna go stand next to Bill and end the episode. Because I'm done. So done. We hope to see you again not on your life, lady. Not on your life. Okay, so who should we put in the team in the front of the team? Let's go with Charlie because Charlie is Jesus. Okay, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we will be going with Bill to the tree isle, the three islands, and we'll go into Island One. Forget it. You know what we're doing next time. We're talking to Bill and doing his side quest. So those of you who know the game will know what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't know can go and look it up. I recommend Cerebi.net or Bulbapedia to look up where the hell we're going next. Till then, like and favourite if you enjoyed this video or if you purely hate Zapdos' ass. <clears throat> if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe and like and comment and all that crap. I'll see you all next time. Hail the Redders may not return for a couple of days as he has to let out the beast. And I don't mean that as in a real life term or as... In whatever the hell you're thinking, I'm talking about rage. See you on the news. Fuck you!